Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an Illumins Blu-ray, genuine Blu-ray, Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. I hope you're doing well today. Today I want to talk to you about what is coming up here because you're going to feel a really strong push just in case you haven't already felt it before. Um, there's some people that call it a heart pull. What actually is happening is you are getting pushed hard out of two dimensions. And that's what I'm going to talk to you about here. This video is about your astral plane connections. Say goodbye to soulmates. Say goodbye to more cosmic soulmates. And say goodbye to things like astral sex, astral planing. This is going to mean for some weird dreams. Um, you are going to have things that happen to you. You're going to have some of your dreams that make you look at death, aspects of death, accidental deaths. These are, these are frequently dreams that help to clear parts of you. There's a lift away happening. There's a, and a push and a huge squeeze. Okay. How many of you are feeling the squeeze around you, around your rib cage, around your heart, pressure around your head? There's a lot of things that are going to be affected on your body. It's going to affect your sleep. Maybe you're getting woken up at night. Are you having those sleep sequences where you're waking up at 222, 333, and you're seeing the numbers and you're going, oh gosh, I'm seeing the numbers rapid succession of numbers, feeling triggered. What's the difference between this and 5D? Well, the main thing is it's not 5D. It's not the new 5D. You are, this is a precursor to you being able to collapse a lot of your timelines and finish. Finish, conclude, wrap it up, tie it up, tie up your loose ends, but you're doing it up here. And so the astral plane connection does affect many areas of you. For the uninformed or the ill-informed people, your third eye is going to clear. And it's going to clear things that you've seen, experienced, the emotional content. It's not time to go placing blame or pointing fingers. It is time to get it gone. Now... I am going to clarify some of the things that people are focused on here. So the light and the energies keep coming in in these waves. The first wave is positioned. The next wave of people, you're getting pushed out. You're getting pushed hard. The next wave of people, you're going into shutdown mode. And this is going to continue. There's a huge portal this June solstice, there's another one in August, and it's an energetic portal. While it might seem that it's going to push people together, I'm going to clarify something for you that you need to know. Get your ducks in a row ahead of time. You have to start this month and keep going, okay? You can't wait till August and say, well, in August, I'm going to deal with it because the thing that happens in August, you're going to be waiting till December and so forth. If you say in September, you're saying, well, you know, maybe next year. We used to say that about the Chicago Cubs. There's always next year. Well, there is always next year for some people. What are your decisions? For a lot of you, you made the decision previously, and I applaud you. But I'm still here to say to you that making your decisions that you're seeing some of this through and there's a reason for it. Whatever your mind decides has no bearing. This is turning into a body thing. That's why I'm calling it the lift away. You are lifting away from these levels where you've had the cosmic playmates, you've had the soulmates, you've had the people on the playground with you. It's time to get cleaned up. Now, the other information about this energy, especially with the Saturn energy, is this is enabling a restructure 
and a proper level of living, and this goes back 10 years, so 10 to 12 years, if you were to look back at your life and say, gosh, what was I doing 10 years ago? Something that you may have planned for from 10 years ago is now able to bring full closure. So you have a 10-year mark, you have a 20-year mark, and you have a 100,000-year-ago mark that you're bringing closure to. And that's a lot, ladies and gentlemen. So that is really saying goodbye to soulmates. This is part of the reason that when people do not respond to you, it's important to feel out why. Because they may be someone from one of those timelines that you are not going to continue a timeline with. It's not going to be possible. It takes really deep discernment to sort out who is who and what's what. Now, it doesn't just rely on your discernment with your human senses. This is where your sleep is very important. Your sleep and your ability to get yourself to sleep and your ability to breathe properly, commune with your twin, is going to be not only dynamic, but vitally important. For some people, it really will be critically important because it will make the difference between you thriving and floundering. And sometimes there are those things where if you feel you're going down with the ship, it is time to get yourself moving and get some help, like myself, that is very qualified to help you do this. I have been gearing up for this for years. So to give you an idea of, you know, the 10-year mark, what is this? 10 years ago. Well, a big piece of that was 2010. That is when karma officially closed. In fact, I remember people writing me. They wanted to know what about the Mayan calendar. There was a lot of fear surrounding this. The Mayan calendar says it's the end. Is it the end of the world? Or is it just the end of old things? Is it a death of old things so that there can be new beginnings? And prior to 2010, that was a big fear. What's going to happen? It was also uh, similar to the fears that surrounded the year 2000. A lot of people thought that computers would just crash all over the world. But instead, they just turned over the clock. And it turned out to be a non-issue. However, as we head into towards 2020, okay, we're almost through half the year here. As you head towards 2020, this 10 years has been a grace period in a way. It's been a grace period for you to finish, finish the playground, start getting things ready, start getting yourself lined up, get the garbage out, get purged, and yeah, it's time that something is going to happen here. And I'm going to say it, I need to kick some people's butts here because being complacent about it, doing this passively is not going to cut it. You cannot phone this in during between dimensions, nor can you lay blame, nor can you flounder around in videos saying, well, this one's a narcissist. Well, that happened to me. Well, the divine feminine is so oppressed. The divine feminine is not a martyr. The divine feminine is not here to martyr herself yet again on the altar of love. Oh, wait, divine feminine, I mean females. Get yourself out of that mindset that you are doing all this stuff. It just so happens there are a lot of females that watch videos, so you're taking it very personally. But I can reassure you that men are also doing what they need to do. And men, don't go apologizing for being men. Okay? If you're a man, are you an evolved man? Okay? If you're a man, are you feeling your union? If you are a woman, are you feeling... When I say union, I mean the unification of your bodies, not shacking up together. Because for the majority of people, you are not yet there in the sense that you're combining both. You're combining living together with merging together. That is the unification. You are going to see some people, and I say this 
in my classes, you are going to see some people that are saying that they are each other's twin flames that wind up falling apart because they are actually cosmic soulmates. So there is a huge disentangling happening here. There's a huge purging of soulmates, their energies, because for every one person you see, there's probably a thousand karmic faces there. Whatever we call the karmic soulmate, that person's just putting a face on a thousand people, on a million people you might have known throughout your entire lifetimes of experiences. So let's get real about this because that's what this energy is going to do in addition to what it's also doing for you personally is bring the scope of this. So if you are a star seed, what's a star seed? It's a person who is originates from another star system. You have a connection there. You're bringing your connections here and you are seeded. In other words, you have seeds, seeds of greatness in you, but you have the seeds of multiple star systems in you. You may not have had an opportunity to open them. From here on earth, as you unify, you will activate some of those. Those are referred to as your DNA activation, your diamond light codes, your light codes, your key codes. Um, this boom, bang, pop, popped open, you blast open. However you describe it, it's all the same thing. Downloads, upgrades, plug and unplug, cut cords, cut etheric connections. However you describe it, the process is the same with every individual who is a part of a twin flame union. There is a reason. You are here to receive the template of relationship from 5D, and that is no small thing. So there is a new template. I am one of the prototypers of this template. But let me explain to you how this prototyping works. Because as a Blu-ray, we are the architects, we are the developers, we are the prototypers, we test drive it. We don't do it all here in this lower dimension. This has been perfected in another dimension. And here at this level, you're customizing it. Okay, it's like someone handing you a brand new Chevrolet car. And you decide that you want different wheels and you want a different transmission and you want it to get, you know, be able to race really fast, which by the way, I'm going to repeat something that I was once told by my high guidance. You're not going to be able to fly at 500 miles an hour if you're still getting drunk. And that includes drunk on rage, drunk on drugs, drunk on drinking, drunk on picking on people, drunk on being a workaholic, whatever it is. If it's a distraction, you're not going to be able to light up your light body sufficiently. So you're going to have to Come to me and find that sense of balance. So this template, if you're still living here at this level, things happen. Things can impact you or not. And that is the key. Those are the things that you want for your life. Those are the things that you need. You need to be able to breathe properly. You need to be able to commune with your twin and connect which is very different, and it involves surrender, which is not giving up. It involves a level of surrender where you activate your light body. And I'm holding a class on that this weekend. I'm holding it, I'm sorry, this is supposed to say the 5th. This is on May 5th, okay? Sunday, May 5th at 9 a.m. about the Twin Flame Heart. I'm going to teach you breath work. I'm going to help you get your energies moving. And I'm going to help you get your shields in place and commune. Okay? You have something called a 5D shield that most of you, if you are viewing old ancient stuff, you're not going to be able to to get that properly in place. If you are not aware of this, then you need to come and talk to me. You need to join my class. You should get my book. 
you should have a session. Have you the one that would be helpful for you is my psyche body session. Or a spirit chat. The links are below for that. The links are in the description. What about my books? So there's all kinds of new information about you, about your body, about this process that it will be helpful for you to know. Regardless of whether or not you intend to become, you know, uh, what some people would call a light worker, everyone is here from the light. I'm a firm believer in everyone's a light worker. If you're in the police department and you're twin flame, you're a light worker in that police department. If you are a real estate agent and you are from the light and love of your twin flame union, you are a light worker in that real estate office. So it doesn't matter because what matters is you are from the light and the love. You're the one who's bringing it. You're bringing it. You're bringing your twin flamey energy and love wherever you go. But you got to protect yourself. How do you do that? Because I'm going to be in the same old ways. You can't walk down the street and go, ooh, white light, white light, ooh, white light, white light. You have structure, that's the key word here, with the Jupiter and Saturn energy, structure. You have structures that need to move into place to help you. You need to integrate them. That's the personal part that only you can do. That is the proactive part that only you can do. You have channels that you need to open that reciprocate the love back and forth with each other. You have channels that need to help you respirate or breathe properly under different conditions. So if you're feeling this squeeze, you need to learn how to breathe properly. You need my book, book two, which is Twin Flame Ascension and Breath. Okay, that's what that is about. In here, I have information about what the breath is, why it is, because there's three levels of this. And I'm not joking about that. Remember, I had to be the prototype of the body, so I had to make the pathways for this. That is what we are. We are the path pavers or the way showers or whatever you want to call it. We want to get in, get it done, and be able to get off this planet at some point, right? Okay, you can only do that with your true love. That's why there is no more astral planning. The astral planning with soulmates, if, if a soulmate is coming to you or a stranger or someone you met on the internet and they're showing up at night for some astral sex, you might enjoy it at first, but you're going to find it is not rewarding. It is not fulfilling and starts to get creepy, okay? There's a lot of things along this journey that start to get creepy. And when it starts to get creepy, if you don't know how to get rid of it, you need to come to me. So I have book two and three to help you with breathwork ascension and disentangling. In book two, I also have a glossary. If you're not sure what certain terminology is, I have a glossary of terms and what they mean to take some of the mystery out of it. Some of this stuff is very mysterious to people and I'd like to take the guesswork out and give you what to do about it. That's when you feel empowered because I've seen this happen. A lot of people get out there, do a video and they report it, but they're not telling people what to do about it. I do that in my classes and yes, this is how I earn my living. So straight up, you know, I'm not going to be ashamed about God giving me a gift that properly helps me to help people because every good teacher should be paid. Every good doctor should be paid. Every good healer should be paid. And I am a top level, 12th dimensional connection healer. That is who the Blue Rays are. We are the originals and we are the prototypers. So I know it very well. And I've been doing this for quite some time from before karma officially ended. So, and I've been here in Atlantis and Egypt. So I do know a bit of the past and I do know what we're heading into. So 
some of the other things that you will find to help you. Book three, okay? What is that one about? Book three is about sleep and love and communing. Now, if you are struggling to get to sleep, if you are waking up, if you are sleeping in shifts, if you are fatigued, if you're exhausted with it, if you're tired of it, please try my book. I have multiple topics, however, I cover in here because it is about love. It's about communing. It is about not just sleep, but actually getting rest. It is about why when you sleep at the new level, how do you affect some of your further healing that needs to happen? So these are all important things that you need to know. I put it together to make it very um, normal. <laughs> how many of us would like to say that, gosh, I wish my life were normal. I put it together to make it normal, easy to do, easy to clear, what tools to use. Okay, I don't care if you still like cards. But the cards are not going to tell you what to do with your body. You can get the cards. They can be a balm to you. They can give you some answers. But they are not going to tell you what to do with your body. And I do find that most tarot readers, you know, the tarot isn't teaching them about the body the way that ancient tarot was. Previously, tarot used to teach about the humors of the body. And it used to, it would, it's always been a divination tool. It's been a way to get some answers, not knocking it. But you're heading into territory here where there's just new stuff. And this is going to make it easy for you so that you can get rest. You can further affect your healing. You can get your answers. You can deepen the heart communication with your true love, with your twin flame. So let's take a little scenario here. And let's say... You know, we have a couple and they suddenly encounter each other. Oh, hey, hey. Uh, where were you? I was expecting you to call me. You said you'd call. What's going on? Oh, yeah. Um, you know, I, I just, I don't know. I, I don't think it's going to work out. What, just like that? What, you weren't going to tell me or anything? You just, like, leaving me to my own devices, wondering, I... I tried you several times. You've been ignoring me. Well, you know, it's, it was just a feeling. Every time I tried, I, I, I would everything would get intense. Like, this is intense. This is just, I don't know, really intense. And then, I don't know, time would pass. And, you know, look, I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. Well, you did hurt my feelings. You hurt my feelings. Who does that? Who does that? You know, everyone's right. All the DMs are the same. What the hell is that, a DM? What's a DM? Oh. You don't even know what I'm talking about. Where are you getting this language? We were just talking about a phone call or something. I, I just, you know, I'm going through my own stuff. Well, I'm going through stuff too. Yeah, well, maybe, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I just, I don't want to burden you with my stuff. Why would I be a burden? What if you don't get it? What if you think I'm crazy? Oh my God, he's speaking my language. What if he's crazy? What if he only knew that I feel crazy? You know, and they're trying to have a conversation about stuff that is very twin flamey. They need to commune. They need to commune. So what I'm suggesting to you is in this energy that is very intense, because as you go along here, a lot of the answers need to come through you. They will not get answered directly from, you know, just certain things because there's people that say, Oh, if you hear this by your ear, that means the angels are talking to you. No, it doesn't. It means that you're traveling through the dimensions and you need to clear something. That's what that means. What if you feel the intensity here? That can mean a number of things, including your physical heart needs to get checked. Okay, it doesn't mean a heart pull that your twin is pulling you or something. It can mean that, but it can also mean the shrapnels coming out of your chest over your heart. It can mean a lot of things. So I do intuit these things so that I can help you narrow the focus, take out the guesswork, and, you know, not let you wonder or think you're going crazy because you're not crazy. So thanks so much for watching. Check the links below. I'm having the class. You will get quite a bit of 
uh, good stuff here. But mainly, if you're, let's make it a group of group moving the energy. Come and show up. Show up in your jammies. I don't care. And let's do this. Have a session with me and try my books. So all the links are below. Thanks so much. If you have a question, reach out. Email me. I'll try to help you discern what you might need. TwinFlamesMerge at gmail.com. My books, all of my material is available at TwinFlameBody.com along with supplements, oils, and I do rank recommendations about that in my class. If you have questions, come and show up. I'm going to be having more classes on breath and commune, breath and commune, breath and commune. You need to know it. You're going to need it after we hit the solstice this year. Everyone in Australia, pay attention. You're going to get the catapult. Everyone in the Northern Hemisphere, you're going to be on that ship in the doldrums. you got to find out how to shift this and shift the stagnation out of your life. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.